since the last interlude was about Yennefer, today's interlude will feature another woman in Geralt's life, Ciri. Uh, she is, of course, she's not a daughter to Geralt, she's more of a destined person that is extremely important. Why is that? Uh, first of all, you have to know uh, a little bit about her, so let me just give you a quick info. Her actual name is Cyrilla Fiona Ellen Rianon. She was born in 1251, most likely during a holiday in Sintra. She is daughter of Pavetta, uh, the princess of Sintra, and of a man called Dani. Uh, and what's more important, she's the granddaughter of Queen Selenti. Selenti is, or was, the queen of uh, Sintra. First of all, you have to know a little bit about her father and how it became to be that he was her father. Because this is a, this is a short story in the, if I remember correctly, in the Sword of Fate. Her father was known as the Hedgehog because he was cursed. He had a hedgehog face. Uh, it was a curse, a very powerful curse that was placed on him. Each time he, he had his own face only during the time be between midnight and the dawn. He knew that the, this curse can be lifted only by, by one thing, by the law of the surprise. Uh, since he once during a hunting he saved the life of an unknown man, that man was the king of Sintra, he requested the law of the surprise. If you want to know more about the law, uh, I gave it an explanation in the first interview. But uh, it's not the law of the surprise had to take effect uh, the cur for the curse to be lifted, which means Pavetta was his destined child. And he went to Sintra, ordered the girl, uh, Ciri's mother, to be given to him. But you know, it's a political marriage because she was a princess, so it's much more complicated. Geralt was at that time in Sintra, and in the end the curse was lifted. I don't want to get into much more details. But the hedgehog said to Geralt, uh, because you lifted the curse from me, I will give you anything you wish. Geralt uh, decided that he, he, he doesn't want anything. It's all, it all end up, ended up in an argument wherein Geralt was so infuriated and pissed off on the, on the man that he decided that he will make the use of the law of the surprise and said to him that one day he will, be, he will come back and the thing that you have uh, and you don't know about it yet will be mine. Of course, that's the law of the surprise, because Geralt was so infuriated that he... Because uh, the Hedgehog said, I don't like uh, the, the type that Geralt represents, because these men would, would... He will come back here someday at Sintra and tell us that he would like to uh, be paid for what he did. And then Geralt said, uh, because this infuriated him, he ordered or he used the law of the surprise on him. Then he left the room, and a second or two seconds later, Pavetta said to the Hedgehog that she's pregnant with a child. Shut up! That's And that's how Ciri became Geralt's uh, child of the surprise. Her role is much more complicated than you can think, because she is... Uh, she's a political child. Because And, and that, uh, that comes into conflict uh, in the books when Nilgard attacks the Northern Kingdoms. Because Sintra is the first kingdom, um, the Emperor wanted uh, and some barons that he had close to him also wanted... They wanted Ciri to be wed to the Emperor. That would, of course, create a marriage that joins the thrones of Nilfgaard and Sintra. Now, the problem with this uh, thing is that... And it all started to complicate matters. I don't want to get into too much details because that would take too much time. But in the end, uh, Geralt was killing a lot... Killed a lot of Nilfgaardians and had a lot of problems with Nilfgaard. <laughs> when he was trying to find Ciri because she was kidnapped by a Nilfgaardian soldier, etc. What is What happens later is the fact that finally the two met, Geralt took Ciri to Kaer Morhen, uh, there she undertook uh, the Witcher training under supervision of Triss Marigold, out of all people, uh, but Triss refused to mutate the girl. So Ciri was good with sword, in the end, it was the time when she was uh, already like a, a little close to 20 years old, if I remember correctly, then Yennefer took her uh, into her care and uh, taught her magic. Uh, the girl has her own adventures, there was a bunch of these, uh, also covered in the books. She was accompany accompanying Geralt at some point, sometimes the, 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 the two were not together. The more important two parts is that Ciri was a very talented uh, woman, 
she was good with swords, she was perfect when it comes to magic, she was a source when, when it comes to her, and the most important things uh, in the, her own stories, uh, there is a unicorn making an appearance, and finally she acquires so much power that she is known as the Lady of the Worlds. In the games, uh, she is mentioned during the, during the flashback, when Geralt retrieves the memory of him dying in the books. Since she was the Lady of the Worlds, she created sort of a world the, uh, for Geralt and Yennefer um, after Geralt's death. It's a very mysterious moment and generally a nice one. Uh, I doubt that she will make an appearance in the future games because with the amount of power she possesses, the fact that she is a sorceress, she is extremely powerful, uh, means that she is probably able to do anything uh, in the Witcher world and she shifts between worlds as well. Uh, it does also mention that she found a world for herself, whatever actually that means. So, I doubt that we will see her, but I think it is important to know a little bit about her. So, thank you very much for watching, the next episode of course will be uploaded uh, probably tomorrow. Thank you very much for listening.